Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make this quick video because, you know, I'm a big fan of The Flash, the TV show. It's Grant Gustig. I think it's a great show. He's a real uh, good actor on the show, and I like the cast of the show. Uh, I just think it's a really good show, real good cast and stuff. But I just have to cry out on, on the last episode, okay, that just aired the other day. Um, you know, episode uh, 18, I think it's called Flash vs. Zoom. And if you've seen the show, this is going to have spoilers in it, okay, for those who haven't seen it. But, you know, uh, Zoom, you know, is from Earth 2 and on the show, and he's the big bad for this season. Of course, he made his first appearance a couple, you know, early in the season, basically, where he basically beat the crap that he was so, so way much faster than Flash, and he came over, and he, he was the one behind sending metahumans across from Earth 2 to Earth 1 to try to, you know, challenge Barry. And basically what he wanted is to steal Barry's speed. Professor Zoom, or not Professor Zoom, <laughs> Zoom in this show is known as Zoom. He's basically dying and he needs Barry's speed to, to basically cure himself. And the yeah, basic premise is, like I said, the first t time he encountered Barry, he basically beat the crap out of him and carried him around town. And basically he's going to steal his flash of speed. And they kind of defeated him. Well, they didn't really defeat him. They kind of you know, they went to Earth to uh, Professor Wells from that Earth, and and Barry and Cisco went over there, and they basically uh, they freed Wells' daughter and stuff, and they came back over, and they closed. It was all but these bunch of breaches, you know, open spaces. You know, to put it, uh, uh, I guess, a good way, there was these open portals all around the city, and they basically wanted managing to close them all. And of course, uh, Barry vowed to go back and 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 rescue Earth Two from Professor Zoom. Anyway, cut back to this episode here, where Barry's constantly, you know, he's saying he's gonna, he made a promise and he's gonna fulfill it. He's gonna go to, you know, he's gonna open up a portal and he's gonna go back and he's gonna defeat Zoom. But of course, as usual with Barry, if you've seen the show, you know where I'm going with this. Barry always makes plans and basically Barry's plans always blow up in his face. Okay, I know he's a new hero and stuff. He just, you know, became the last, literally last season. Uh, and so, of course, he's prone to make mistakes, but it doesn't matter what people tell Barry not to do something or it's going it's to be a bad idea. And in, in this episode, Professor Wells told Barry, don't open up the, br the breach. But Barry said, no, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And everybody's telling him, oh, Barry, oh, when you get something in his head, you can't talk him out of it. You know, Joe's saying, oh, when he gets something in his head, he's, you can't talk him out of it. Okay, even though this was a dumb plan. And, and obviously he didn't have his plan. I guess it, I, assumed, I, I assumed that his plan was to open up the breach and go there to Earth 2. And and challenge uh, Zoom there, defeat Zoom there, and of course he had this uh, ex this uh, device that actually made him fast, faster than Zoom. Okay, but of course Zoom on the other side s sensed it when he opened up the portal, and uh, when he had uh, Cisco open up the portal, and of course he came crashing through, and I guess I guess the plan, Barry plan, I guess it worked. They had Zoom basically chase him around and. Basically, they you know they used information that they knew when they found out who Zoom really was to capture Zoom. And actually, put it managed to put a little uh, a device on him that slow him down. Okay, and 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 basically he was trapped. And then of course Barry makes the classic mistakes that villains make, but he <laughs> made made the uh, he went into a term and I think that the Incredibles t uh, uh, from the Incredibles movie basically a term called monologuing. Basically, Barry. After he had Zoom trapped, he went. He went, did a bit of monologuing. He had a bit of, instead of locking Zoom into a, a one of his containment fields. Now that he slowed him down and had his had him trapped where he couldn't run, he actually sat there and had a like a five minute conversation back and forth with Zoom. Okay, and of course, with most Barry's plans, of course, Barry thought he had him trapped, and Barry, as Barry's prone to do, you know, he's, when he defeats somebody, finally he. He starts to brag. And of course, naturally, that, you know, after Zoom, you know, basically they went, they had their little back and forth tete a tete. Zoom just basically shuck off the leg thing and basically escaped. And then, then, okay, then Barry has, of course, the, the dumbass look on his face like, holy crap, what did I do? Yeah, yeah, you effed up by bringing him over to this earth. Professor Wells warned you not to do that. Do not open up the breach. Okay, but you had to do it, Barry. You had to do it. You, you, you know, I could talk you out of it, okay? You just had to do it, okay? I, I didn't realize, you know, as a hero, 
you know, you're supposed to grow and stuff, but I, I, please, Barry, I, you know, and I read the forums and, and everybody generally agreed. Barry, he, he effed up big time because, of course, the next time they encounter Zoom, Zoom has Wally, you know, Joe's son, extreme son, who uh, he's just getting to know, of course, and, of course, he threatens Barry, unless you give me your speed, I'm going to snap his neck or kill him, you know, whatever. But I'm gonna kill him. Of course, so Barry being the hero that he is, and of course, and and being honest above honest, you know, and 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 this I blame on the writers of the show, okay? Because at least they should have held had Zoom hold or threaten Wally, you know, hold him until actually he got injected with the speed. But of course, no, they let you know Barry agrees, you know, Barry is, you know, he's a hero. I guess he gotta keep his word. Uh, he says, Okay, you can take uh, uh okay. What's bad makes the promise? Okay, you can have my speed. Let him go, and he he lets him go. And instead of Barry again attacking Zoom again because he's supposed to be he's he has the the device on that makes him faster. Instead of just you know knocking him out or something or or having a backup plan, no, he's he actually goes through. They actually have go to the point of having well they you know while Barry's running on the on the little treadmill thing so they can drain his speed from him they're actually having conversations with zoom okay they're actually talking to him and it, it looks totally ridiculous okay and and, it, and I kept thinking okay well wells no they got a plan they, you know this is just a subterfuge that you know now that he got his guard down you know they're gonna you know trip zoom they're not really gonna give him Barry's speed but no they actually do give him Barry's speed they actually do so Barry basically is powerless okay <laughs> He's powerless, and Zoom, you give a psycho, a psycho serial killer your speed, okay? Okay, and and he's off into the world, okay? <laughs> he's off to create havoc, and he, oh, plus, oh, sorry, I forgot the, the piece de resistance. He, he kidnaps Caitlyn, okay? Because basically, you know, Caitlyn, Caitlyn stopped him from killing Barry, because he, he was going to kill Barry right after he got his speed, which he... Uh, it was a moment, a quick moment where I said, you know what, kill him. He's very too stupid to live, okay? You know, I, I love the Flash and I love his character, but sometimes they write him too stupid, okay? Too, too stupid and hard-headed and always having a plan and, and and the plan screws up monumentally like it did last night. And again, I still don't see why he, he gave him a speed willing, okay? Why they didn't have like a backup plan or something to say, listen, if for, some, for some reason, if Wells escapes, not Wells, if um, Zoom escapes, you know, you know, we do plan plan B, or if something else happens, we have a plan C. But no, Barry just has one thing, and if that thing screws up, he's basically effed, okay? And basically, he was effed last night. And it's just really this, I, I, I just, you know, I was talking about it with my friend at work, I said, Jesus Christ, Barry's stupid. <laughs> Sometimes he's just too stupid to live, okay? It just really is. I mean, that's just... Oh my God! The, the idioticness of first, you lost all your speed. Caitlin got kidnapped, kidnapped, and a complete psycho. You gave a psycho, a complete psycho mer serial killer your speed. Okay, okay. So basically, you made him stronger than he was <laughs> before. He was already dying, but now you, now that he, did you open up the portal? Now he has your speed, and he has Caitlin. Okay, and you have no power. Okay, so way to go, Barry. Way to, way to f things up. Okay, way to make a a, a situation that wasn't that bad, make it monumentally worse. Okay, and like I said, I love the Flash the TV show, but my God, that was monumentally dumb. Okay, and I, if I could reach through the TV and smack, <laughs> smack the char character of Barry, uh, Barry Allen, I would just like that, just for being so freaking stupid. Okay, Come, you know, with the, with this dumb plan, instead of having a plan, a, a smarter plan, or maybe you going over. To Earth Two, instead of you opening up a portal where he can come through, okay? It just, ugh. And 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 Professor Wells warned him, okay? But he he kept he basically warmed down and 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 gradually made Professor Wells, you know, he basically gave in and 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 let Joe Joe basically was told him, listen, Barry, when Barry has something in his mind, he's 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 thick and he and he, and he won't let it go. So basically, he basically said, we might as well help him. And Wells broke down and helped him. And hence the, this monumental, monumental F up. Okay, so thanks a lot, Barry. Okay, thanks a lot for the monumental screw up, okay? 
And I, I think there's like four more episodes left, I think. Because I think it's 20 or five more episodes left. I don't know exactly. It's 23 or 22 of The Flash before it. But Jesus Christ, Betty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got me, you got me uh, you know, slobbering on how, you, your stupidity. Because I kept thinking about this all day long after last night. And I was talking to my friend at work about it. Jesus Christ, Betty, stupid. <laughs> Jesus freaking Christ. Oh, my God, he's stupid. Like I said, I hope, like I said, the writers next year, they'll make Barry smarter. Okay, I know he's young, but please, Christ, make him smarter. Let him look, grow and learn, okay? Because, like I said, he usually goes out and fights these villains. The way the pattern is on the show is that he usually goes out, gets his ass kicked the first time, okay? Has a second encounter, okay? And he kind of, I think he usually kind of, Fights the villain to it like a stalemate, and then at the last minute, with the with the help of, of course, Cisco and, and everybody else, they you know he winds up defeating the villain at the end. And that's basically the formula. So hopefully, I hope in next year they change things up a little bit and make Barry be a little bit smarter, okay, and use the speed in different ways, okay, and 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 not be so thick, okay, and stubborn and hard headed, okay, and just uh, I just it just drove me insane last night how fundamentally stupid he was. To, you know, to come up with that plan that wasn't really much of a plan. And then once he did execute the plan and he captures him, he had a stupid dialogue with him, you know, basically where he's waving his, like somebody said, I remember in a reading a form, somebody said basically he's waving his, this is, you know, what around and, and, and Zoom's face, basically you know, bragging you know, about you know, how he, he, he captured him and stuff and, and just led to this disaster that it is that now he has no speed. <laughs> you gave a serial killer psycho your speed, okay, and plus he has Caitlyn, okay, so way to F up, Barry, way, top notch, way to, to, to screw up, Barry, you, you, if, if anybody could screw up, I mean, you screwed up to the 10th degree, okay, just, ugh, I just had to get that out, uh, just, ugh, like I said, I like the fly, I love the show, but I, I really hope in these last couple episodes, they make Barry a little bit smarter, I got, again, I got a feeling that what's going to happen at the end is that to defeat Zoom, it's going to be good, bad, getting his speed back, and, and a, probably a couple other speedsters, okay, will will help Barry defeat Zoom ultimately. And I also think uh, the man in the mask, who we don't know who that is, and who Zoom said last night, we wouldn't believe who who it is, which is another dumbass, I think that's another dumbass statement, because whoever it is, it ain't going to be somebody we don't uh, we couldn't believe, unless it's the only, the only person that I think would be something that he wouldn't believe, which I don't. I think he, at this point, Barry's doesn't matter. Uh, is maybe I'm trying to think. What maybe no? If it was another Barry from another Earth, we believe that he, he could believe that because he already knows he has another doppelganger on Earth too. So, so it can't be that, or it can't maybe Eddie, who who we thought killed himself and. And wipe himself out of existence. Okay, maybe that would be hard to believe because you would have to find out how why he didn't die. Okay, when we saw him die and and the reverse flash got wiped out of existence. So I don't, I'm trying to think who. I have no idea about that. Of the man in the mask, who that could possibly be. But anyway, let me know what you think. Who the man in the in the mask is? I still don't know. First, I thought it was Wally, Wally from Earth Two, and but then it looks like a white guy. So I thought maybe it was another J from a different Earth. Uh, you know, or the real, the real Jay Garrick. Maybe that's who it is from either this Earth, well, not Earth 2, from another Earth that he just captured and stuff. But, I, or maybe it's another version of himself. Like, like I still think that was a lame ass idea that they came up with last night. So basically saying the other Jay that he killed was himself from another part of the, another timeline, which made no sense. So if you kill yourself, from another time that that doesn't kill you. Uh, 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 I thought that was just a lame excuse. They should have made it twins or something. I think that would probably would have been better. Just there would have been like two twins or something. And then basically, uh, or even a another Zolomon, uh, you know, which is his real name. I forgot Zolomon. I forgot the last name. But maybe an, another uh, Jay Garrett from another Earth that he convinced, you know, that you know that he convinced to, to call along with his plan that we're going to steal the flash of speed and split it among the both of us and then he just betrayed him. I think that would have been a better idea than saying you took a, a earlier version of yourself 
from the timeline. That makes that's a dumbass excuse. Okay, but anyway, let me know what you think. Like I said, I got spoils all over this. Let me know what you think of that episode, episode eighteen of the Flash. I just think Barry, this oh, that was the monumental screw up of all screw ups. Okay, and plus, again, why are you giving? I understand they wanted Wally back, and you couldn't do that to Joe because Joe uh, said uh, Wally's family, even though you don't really like him, but. <laughs> He's fair, so I understand that you gotta be he gotta be a hero, so you gotta you know let him go, do what you can to, to release him. But then, I mean, come on, really, you're gonna give up your speed willingly, no backup plan, and you, you so you really are gonna give this psycho even after he let the girl let let the Wally go and Wally ran out of there. You gonna really you're still gonna give him the speed, really? You didn't have a backup plan, okay? And and again, you monologue instead of putting him in. Once you trapped, you know, once you had him trapped and you basically gave him enough time to, you know, with your monologuing and your, and your D waving around in his face, you gave him time to, to power out of that. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry. Let me, I'm ranting. So anyway, let me know what you think of <laughs> episode 18. Uh, again, or Barry's, or, well, should I call this video? Barry's a dumbass. Okay. My review of episode 18. Okay, Barry's a dumbass. I, I'm, I'm gonna call that video. That's what I'm gonna call this video. Barry's a dumbass. Even though I like him, I'm a, but I'm gonna call it what it is. Barry was a dumbass in this episode. Okay, okay, a dumbass. Okay. Anyway, let me know what you think of this episode. Feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.